All right, La Picotti, we're here. Congratulations. Now, I have to say, man, you're like one of the best in the world using the motor deck. I want to know, what was that like for you, you know, going up and feeling so confident? Yeah, uh, I play with, I, I practice mortar, my mortar deck, because I think this mortar is best now. Yeah, and I feel, I feel with this deck so good. Now, also, you had a little team meeting, you know, with Luis here. Uh, what kind of adjustments did you guys make uh, going into that next matchup? I think we uh, wanted to cover our bases against certain decks, and that's why uh, the timeout came in really helpful for us. Uh, we made the decision that Loon would be the best thing to go in with that third game. Uh, realistically, we have a lot of faith in him, uh, regardless of the matchup, so we were just comfortable going in with that, knowing that he could just play out the tie, worst case scenario, and then we go to the next game. And speaking about that, you are extremely confident coming into these matchups. Where does that come from, man? Mm, OP. OP. <laughs> All right, that's, that's good enough. You can just say you're OP. So I want to ask you about that matchup with B-Rad. Uh, you had a moment to take advantage of that mirror matchup. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Mm, yeah, I think uh, for me, all mirror matchup, it's, it's so hard for me. And this mirror matchup, it's, mm, it's, for, it, it, it's, it's hard for me. Yeah, but I win because... We train because. that uh, mirror matchup a lot, and I think he feels like every mirror matchup is going to be a little tougher because it's a lot more like reactively yeah. than it is uh, macro gameplay. So it, him being such a macro player, he's always aware of a, a cycle. I think uh, he feels a lot more comfortable playing other stuff besides the mirror matches, yeah. but he came out on top because he's still very good. Yes, he is. And, you know, I'm going to ask you one last question. I want to know, you know, what's it like being on this stage and performing at this level? Oh. Mm. No, I don't know. That's, that's. Um, you like the he says that being in CRL is a dream come true and that it's finally an opportunity for him to show that ladder is not the only thing that he dominates. He's out here to show everybody that he's got what it takes to be a champion. Well, that smile says it all. Well, guys, let's send it over to the desk and uh, hear what we got next. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Well. Oh, yeah, not well, only is he a coach, but he is a master interpreter. Yeah, I mean, all the all he needed from Lapaca.